Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome back to another Gaming on Caffeine live stream and another session of Techopolis hey. Beta. Hello, <laughs> Techopolis Beta. Beta. Yeah, gotta yeah. Um, you know tell the truth, Isaac. It's not yeah. you know some kind of finished. That's true. Release mod pack. This That's is beta. True. At least at your own risk. You know, at least Ben, the pack creator, is being honest with us, man, and letting us know. That it's yeah, a beta. true. True. You know? I'm, I mean, there's he's not probably doing plenty of a, things. You know, right. he's not doing a, like a CD Project Red and telling us mm -hmm. it's a full release and then, uh, mm -hmm. you know, it's a boogie mess. Jeez. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. At least he's telling the truth. At least he's being honest with us. Yeah. And uh, hear, we really uh, know what we're getting in for, man. I hear Cyberfuel, Cyberfuel, Cyberpunk 2077 is, uh, is pretty good these days. Cyberfuel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Man. Sounds, I like keep what, forgetting. sounds like the, the, the 30p <laughs> energy drink <laughs> <laughs> from the supermarket. <laughs> Oh, the one that oh. you look at, I think, God, I'd never drink that, even if I was, like, I was uh, forced to. I was in my local Morrison's supermarket mm. the other day, mm. and they had their... Uh, I, I walked past, like, this giant display, like an end cap display, you know, mm -hmm. uh, at the end of the aisle, um, because they were trying to offload their own brand cola. Nice. Right? Seven pence. For a two-liter oh bottle God. of Coke. Oh, wow. Seven, Seven pence. That's one, like seven one hundredths of a pound is what they were charging for this cook. God, they might as well have been giving it away, man. Bloody yeah. hell, seven p for some for a. a <laughs> I'm assuming a big boy, right? Yeah, yeah two Not liters. Small boy. Two liters, man. Jeez. Two liters. That is wild. Cola for seven pence. It's like nine cents if you're in the US. It's, it's yeah. Very cheap. Yeah, that is very cheap. That's two. Like... Two. A two liter bottle of regular like Coke Zero is uh, is like one pound fifty or something, yeah. right? Like yeah. you know, so it, or two pound, like depending on if you're buying it in, like a bundle or whatever. But yeah, 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 yeah. Jeez, yeah, yeah. that's wild, man. Yeah, I was actually in uh, Morrison's earlier today, and um, I bought a a a branded bottle of Cola Isaac for Ooh. probably two pounds. I don't actually look nondescript brand. Nondescript. You know, is it? Is, it's it's branded. Lime? It's branded, but it's nondescript. But you're not going to, yeah, we don't want to give the advertising, you know, free advertising dollars to. I know, like, if they want me to t say who it is, man. Yeah, I what expect, kind of cola? Yeah. I expect full payment, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. Of course. Exactly, Anything less exactly. would be selling yourself short, man. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, so you so were drinking, you were drinking cola drink. Yeah. Mm, it's actually lime flavored. Ooh. Yeah, it's really nice, man. I've got to say, I've been, I've been on this hype uh, over the last. Um, like couple weeks, it's uh, it's good stuff. But that's not the point uh, of this story, man. I also saw ostrich burgers. Oh, Isaac. like yeah, <laughs> okay. So these are patties, like burger patties, made from ostrich. Mm -hmm. So I saw those. I was looking for some meat. I was like, I need some dinners for the next few days, right? And uh, I was looking for some meat, and I saw um like that, and I was like, oh. God, ostrich burgers, that's weird. Maybe I'll try that sometime. Then fast forward like 20 minutes, like I'd gone through, I'd done all my shopping and stuff, and I walked past them again, and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to try them, man. I'm just going to, like, why not? So I bought these ostrich burgers. I'm going to eat them after this. Of course you did. Yep. I, was, uh, I was so intrigued. <laughs> Um, and, uh, oh man! So yeah, like made like, of ostrich. That's that's incredible. made of ostrich, man. I think they're from South Africa as well. Like oh. they weren't messing around. Like these are like these are real ostriches, man. No, like you know, <laughs> pretend ostriches. <laughs> right. <laughs> no fake um, ostriches here. Jeez. No, exactly. You have to, you have yeah. to tell me how it sounds. Yeah, sounds, yeah. How it tastes, man. I can come back with my findings next stream, man. Oh, wow. Um. Yeah, and I'll I'll, I'll let everyone know uh, how it went. Um. So yeah, that's that was a fun time. Um, I always try and go to the supermarket at like a rogue time of day and yeah. like not at the weekend. Yes, because I just I don't know about you, man, but I just I I really dislike yep. supermarket crowds. Yep, and I'm, I'm one thousand percent with you, Nick. Yeah, good man. Like you, so you know the pain. Yes, um, you know you go in, people. It's like trolley bumper cars. <laughs> freaking people yep. just don't know where they're going what they're yep. looking for mm -hmm. me included right like yeah, i'm not you mm -hmm. know yeah no, i'm not you're I'm not this bastion of logic that knows that like laser focuses on where they want to go like exactly you're in the same boat as everybody else yeah exactly yeah, exactly yeah, yeah. if you drew like a a trail map of my supermarket journey 
it would be like <laughs> there'd be so much overlap. Yeah, it crosses like, the same zigzagging. place like four times. <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> exactly. He passed those ostrich burgers like six times, and every time he's like, well, maybe, maybe, and just I naturally mean, drifted back to the maybe, maybe. <laughs> you, you are you are far closer <laughs> than you you imagine, man. <laughs> to, to, to how it went. Oh. Um, so so yeah so. Um, I always like to just avoid the crowds. Um, and it's not just like being it's not it's not just in the supermarket, it's the car park as well. Mm. I feel like the car park is almost as chaotic as the actual supermarket at peak times, man. Like it is wild. Like it is just so busy. Yeah. And there's and I I don't know like if Everyone who just goes to supermarkets is crazy, um, <laughs> but like I think they are because they all drive as if there's no other cars like yeah. in existence. Yep. They drive as if it's a it's a completely empty car park. <laughs> like today, I was I was um, I was leaving. I was driving um, perpendicular to some car parking spaces, and then I was going to go to the end of the section, and then I was going to take a right turn to get onto the little path that leaves right. Yep. So I'd um, I'd stopped. I was about to turn right, turned right. Um, I was then going straight. And then someone on, on the next row over, right, from, from where I'd just been, didn't do what I did and stopped and looked. They just pulled out as if there was just no one, no one else in the vicinity. And I like almost had like a full T-bone experience, man. It was oh. uh it was terrible. And so there you go. Even even at non-peak times, it's just it's just absolutely wild. Um, yeah. I mean, my local Morrisons, like, used to close at, like, 8 p.m. And mm. now it closes at 11 p.m. Mm. But I don't think that anybody knows that it closes at 11 p.m. Mm. So I'll go at, like, 10 or 5 yeah. p.m. Yeah. And, like, I think the supermarket, I think the people who work there actively don't want me there at that time. Yeah. Because, like, I will, you'll pull up into the car park. The car park is empty, right? Yeah. And it's not a tiny yeah. Morrisons, but it's not massive either. Mm. And then... <laughs> like the lights that are normally on by the entrance are off. The store looks closed. Oh, right. right. It looks like they actively do not want people there. But like, I just walk in and like they're, they're, they're just like stocking shelves and stuff. And it says on the outside, it says like, you know, you know, open till 11. Mm -hmm. And like all the tills are closed. You can only do the self checkout, right? But yes. I'm like, I just walk through, man. I just walk through by yeah. my stuff. Like it's almost entirely empty. There's just some other rogue weirdos who also go to the yeah. supermarket at this <laughs> yeah. time, like me. And uh, and it's great, man. I love it. Yeah, yeah. See, I love an 8pm shop. 8pm mm. is my favorite time because usually if I'm going supermarket shopping, it's because I've become desperate enough that I don't have any dinner, right? <laughs> for that day. So the reason I don't go later, because mine also closes at 11. The reason I don't go later is because... Um, like I, I, I will just be like a shriveled raisin by the time I get back and make food uh, if I go at 10.05. Um, but I do agree that the late, the late night shopping trips are excellent, Isaac. They are excellent. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, but speaking like, of which... Go, yeah, go on. Oh, go on. No, no, no. You go, I you was going to say, like, freaking... I, I kind of wish that there were, like... There was, like, a one-way system. In mm -hmm. the supermarket, like you can loop, but you've got to follow the the loop system. Yeah, you know what I mean, that yeah. is that would be my ideal scenario, supermarket wise. Like it's a bit <laughs> authoritarian, but like people can't be trusted, man. People do no. not know how to navigate a store, and you what annoys me even more, man, is when like people will like there'll be two people right who mm -hmm. have arrived at the supermarket separately, both with trolleys, and I live in like a more rural area, so maybe this is more common around here, right? But mm -hmm. they'll both have like these giant trolleys. And they'll like meet each other, like you know, they'll uh, arrive to the supermarket not knowing that the other person's there. They'll find each other, and they'll be like, "Oh, hi!" And then they'll just both stand there. The the, <laughs> the, aisle, the aisle is only two trolleys wide. You know, they're coming in opposite directions, so they've just noticed each other. You know, across a crowded aisle, and they've decided to stop in the uh, just start chatting. You know, just like yeah. there's nobody else around, just a little casual conversation. Hi, how's it going? Oh, yeah, but they pull the mask down. You know, right to the bottom of, of the course, chin, and they're just chatting. Away. Yeah, I'm like, what yeah, the hell yeah. are you doing? Like, move! <laughs> <laughs> I need to get to the toilet paper. Like, jeez. It's oh, a nightmare. Man, not the toilet paper, man. No, no. Like, oh, what if you need? What if you need to use it? What, what if you're I, there? I actively need it. <laughs> yeah, what if you're there? you've gone to the supermarket because you need the toilet. And you don't have toilet paper. <laughs> yeah. Oh. 
Yeah, no, I've, <laughs> I've seen that. I've had that experience once and it was actually while I was... So so you've got the self-checkout tills, right? Which mm-hmm. you um, use if you're using a basket. And oh. then I don't know if your Morrison's has oh. this, but there's also self-checkout tills that you use if you, you have a trolley. Yes. And it's got its own conveyor belt and stuff and it's all automatic um, yeah. and you just, just built more stuff. I had someone chat to someone while I was waiting for my turn on that. They'd stopped scanning their stuff <laughs> and just got into a conversation <laughs> with the person waiting behind me. Oh, I couldn't believe it. I yeah. was I was so angry. I I was I was fuming. Man. The thing, oh man, like you know, supermarkets. They're, they're they're I'm surprised more more you know, you hear about road rage, man. I'm surprised surprised like supermarket rage isn't a thing because <laughs> oh, you, know, you get to the, the the number I think that really peeves me, a little pet peeve of mine, is mm. when you go to the self checkout, right? Mm-hmm. And you're right. At my local local supermarket, there's two like long lane checkouts that are self checkouts for people with larger shops with a yes. trolley, right? And there's even a little sign that says for a smaller shop right next to the normal self checkout, right? And there's a little picture of a basket. And you know, I think any sensible, reasonable, decent human being understands this concept, mm-hmm. right? But apparently, Nick, the world is full of unsensible, unreasonable, undecent human beings who decide mm. to take like the world's largest trolleys through the tiniest self-checkout. Oh, Not yeah. only do they block everybody trying to just walk through this in general, but they also take like 40 hours like beeping all of their you know, 600 pounds worth of pork through one at a time. And it's like, what are you doing? Like, 600 pounds leave. by weight as well. Not even by, <laughs> not, not even price. Oh, oh man. Yeah. yeah. I, I, luckily I've never had someone Suez canaling the uh, smaller <laughs> self checkouts. <laughs> Uh, oh. But I can imagine that that is frustrating. There's been many times where I've c- actually considered doing that just because the the tr- the the till the regular tills were so full. But I restrained Isaac because I knew the the pain and suffering of which it would cause. Right? Yeah. Like I knew. I knew. Um, yeah, it's bad, man. It's bad. Yeah. Yes. I mean, damn. Here also speaking <laughs> of self checkouts, I don't know. Like oh. there's, a, I they're, feel they're, like they're... there's a, a ranking man of oh, yeah. how um, mm, hair tearing <laughs> self checkouts can be, depending on supermarket. Like there's some yeah. supermarkets that have really, really nice, well thought out self checkouts, right? So mm-hmm. I'm going to name drop Tesco. Yep. Brilliant, yep. Isaac. I love a Tesco self checkout. Yep. The reason is because. Um, you don't have, or in a lot of the ones that is not in all of the Tesco's, but in a lot of Tesco's I've experienced, um, it does not have the requirement to like put your item onto a weighing scale mm, afterwards. Yep. Mm-hmm. So um, for those of you that have like regularly used self-checkouts, you'll know the pain of scanning an item, putting it down, and it like is trying to sense that you've placed your item down by comparing its um the weight that the manufacturer has given the supermarket and the actual weight of what you put down in a way of try to try and um check that you're not just scanning like ps5s right when yeah. you when you've scanned you know a carrot yeah um, although that was a thing yeah exactly exactly however some supermarkets like i don't know what kind of weighing system they're using, but it just, that yep. just doesn't work. Like yep. it just thinks that everything you put down is incorrect. Yes. And I'm going to name drop again, Isaac. Co-op. Yep. Terrible. Yep. <laughs> I have never used a co-op self-checkout without having to wait like four minutes for mm. someone to come over. Yep. Um, and then I've been like, hi, like, you, it's, it's all, you're all like sheepish and meek because you seem like, you know, you can't use basic technology. Um, and I'm like, yeah, this isn't working. And they like scan it and say, and they tell the machine off and they say, no, bad machine. And the machine's yeah. like, okay. And then as soon as they leave, it happens again. Yes. Um, like that's, that's like seriously infuriating. Then in the middle, you've got all the ones where the weightings are like, okay. Like they're semi-accurate or like, they're not really, really uh, precise. Like if what you put down is somewhat the weight of what they think you should be putting down, then they'll pass. They'll like, give you a free pass. Yeah. Um, but there's like a tier list, man. Like I've made up a tier list in my head. Like Tesco's the best, then Sainsbury's, then Morrison's, and then uh, Co-op is at the bottom. <laughs> and then right. I've not tried any of the other ones in between, <laughs> frequently enough to to give I, them um, a uh, a rating. 
Yeah, my local co-op doesn't have a soft checkout. I've got to go to a to a human being. Oh uh, wow! But it's only a small a small one. Yeah, I know. Right? Well, that's the arcades, right? Yeah, it's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah just gotta, just gotta talk someone to someone. Um, have you taken all the stone, man? I've taken all of the stone. Can I, can I have some back? In, yes, in, of in, course. In you can. unchiseled form. Yes, you may. Let me give you back some some stone because I need. Uh, I'm making you know technium. Um, oh, which, I see. Just a heads up. We are playing modern Minecraft, everybody. Yes, I, <laughs> I was going to I was gonna say, hi, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back to modern Minecraft. We've got technium and iron. Yeah, we have. So we, we've got uh, automatic bronze now mm -hmm. that we set up at the end of the last stream. Um, yeah. We've got automatic seared brick. We set that up. We've got uh, iron being made at the very end of the line, which is fantastic. Um, and between streams, Nick, I have added um, a drawer over here and a little pipe to auto pull out the treated wood from the floor. Oh, nice. Down. Yeah. Okay, cool. So what I'm kind of working towards at the moment is I'm trying to get the sterling dynamo from thermal expansion, right? I because see. that's going to give us... 40 red stone flux per tick, and it burns coal significantly slower than the horrendous, good for nothing garbage generator that we currently have. Right? Yes. That eats yes. like 64 coal per second and produces like 8 RF per tick. Yeah. Right? It's yeah. Horrific. So I'm trying to do that. In order to do that, there are a few hoops that we have to jump through. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to get uh, an iron gear to make the dynamo, and the iron gear requires a metal press, and the metal press uh, requires steel. The steel requires a blast furnace, uh, and so I'm currently working on a blast furnace, but the blast furnace requires invar and, can, uh, invar and nickel, invar requiring nickel, and nickel also requiring nickel. So I've purchased the nickel, but the nickel also requires a tier 2 miner, so I'm currently working on making another tier 2 miner. That's my right. current process. What is I it, see. Uh, I, I see you're, you're doing base expansion. Yes, right? yes. I'm doing, I, it's, it's really hard to visualize at the moment, so I'm kind of putting some bits down and getting rid of them, and then putting new bits down just because the the central part of the island is just such a a mess a mess yeah, yeah. we've got like cobblestone and then stone bricks and then dirt and then the shapes like trying to think about the shapes and like i still want this bit to be like sticking out from the rest of the island right i see yeah. so you're kind of trying to make it wider this way yeah but that so involves like, moving the center of mass of yeah the island. I'm just trying right. to figure it all out i think I, I think the best first step is to just um, kind of use the perimeter that I've created so far mm -hmm. and then just put new material within the perimeter and yes. then maybe do a bit of rearranging as well so that there's more space, e.g. for you to put your uh, blast furnace down, right? Yes. Then after that, I think once the material choices have been confirmed and like now we've got like a slightly better shape and a better order of things, then we can really make it bigger, expand, etc., etc. Yeah, I like um, that's good. Yeah, so I'll do that. I'll also, I, I am aware, Isaac, that SBV is of the utmost importance. It is of the utmost importance. I put down a temporary uh, SBV at the, oh, have at the you? minute. Oh, I see it. Yeah. yeah. I am quite um, hungry. Can these be twerked? They can't be twerked. No, that's oh, why I had wow. to. Do you have any berries? Uh, any? I don't, unfortunately. No, yeah, I did so... have an apple that's mm. been eaten. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, no, I have. Uh, oh, there is some fish, man. Like, just, you know. Yeah. Yeah. There's a few over here as well, man. I mean. Yeah. Up at the top there, there's a little. A little bit. Of, little... Uh, if you go up, yeah, there's oh, this oh, fish. This, oh, here's Eduardo. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he's just, he's give that a quick smelt, man. And you've got, mm, yeah. You've got a hearty meal. There's, quite, there's like six down here, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna... to. You know what they are, Isaac? They're What's a rich that? source of omega 3, man. Oh, yeah. Like, fatty yeah. acids, man. Like... Yeah. It's good for you. Oh, man. Yeah. The, the, the YouTube chat was obsessed with. Um, just one fish that had appeared when we started the series. <laughs> oh, and he was he was called Eduardo. Oh. Um, and I mean, Eduardo is now He um, wasn't long for this world, eh? He was now inside of me, right. Isaac. He is now a rich source of uh <laughs> Omega 3 for for myself. <laughs> oh, oh there's a few over here, man. I mean, this is uh this is quite a good way of harvesting yeah, food. Yeah, it's not if bad. If I do man, say so bad. myself, yeah. I mean, until, at least until we can get a mass SBV up and running, you know. Yes, yes, exactly. Exactly, exactly. Which is, uh, for those who don't know, that's a sweet berry vineyard. Okay, like. good. I was wondering what it was. I was, like, <laughs> I was thinking sugar bush valley. <laughs> no, no, come on. Uh, it's obviously a sweet berry vineyard. Right. right. Jeez, no, of course. Man. Of course. How could I? How could I be so stupid, Isaac, um, and bad. assume that it could be anything <laughs> other than a. Uh, a sweet berry vineyard. A sweet berry uh, vineyard, man. Think about that again. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, yeah. But no, my my local Morrison's man. Like over the past, you know, decade maybe, there's been this large mm -hmm. push to bring your own bags. Right. Use less plastic. Mm -hmm. Recycle more. Mm -hmm. you know, reuse your bags. Fine. You know. So I have my reusable yeah. bags. I go to the supermarket. 
with my reusable bag, usually just the one, right? Yeah. I, t- I walk up at the self-checkout. There's a button that says, I've brought my own bags. You press the button. It's like the machine's like, okay, please put your bags on the bagging area and press done when mm-hmm. your bags are on. So yeah. I very obediently, I take my bags, I put them in the bagging area on the weighing scale and I press done. And the machine goes, okay. And then instantly, there are picoseconds, Nick, between me pressing done and the machine turning red with anger and saying, <laughs> you know, the unknown item in the bagging area. <laughs> well, and I'm what's like, he put in there? What's he put on there? <laughs> There's it's something like, on me. Get it off. Get it off. <laughs> <laughs> it's like crying. It's like, he touch me. He <laughs> touch me. <laughs> exactly. And so I'm like, what is the point? <laughs> Of having this button and having this system if it doesn't do anything. Yeah, the bring your own bag system is really weird, man. Because it's like, have you bought your own bag, sir? And you say yes. And then you put a bag on it and it's like, whoa, I'm not being weighed down by six elephants. Where's your bag? I'm like, well, I can't believe. And then I proceed to push my finger down on the thing yeah. like the weighing scale yeah. to make it think mm-hmm. that i've put something on it oh, and then it's Nick. like oh, oh you you weren't lying there yeah, is there something is. on me yeah. thank you and then i proceed to take my yep. finger off yep because i don't want repetitive strain injury <laughs> and it's like oh he's a thief <laughs> he's a thief <laughs> he's stealing things <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, that happens all the time. Like, for me, often, like, if you're buying something very small, right, like something that weighs next to nothing, right? yeah, then uh, you'll put it on, and it will, like, it'll be like, you know, it'll, it'll be like, you know, waiting for assistance, you know, like, it, yeah. it's, it's like calling the, the, the person who's, you know, prowling around, being like, you know, come and fix this, you know, what, mm-hmm. I know what's going on. But then, legitimately, if you just push it down and let go again, it's like, oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, I yeah, guess you did it. Like, yeah. oh. I guess you did have stuff. Because like, <laughs> why didn't you say so before? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I always find that's an issue with medicines. Yeah, if I'm yeah, ever yeah. buying medicines. Mm-hmm. They weigh so little. Yep. That it's just like, yeah, yeah. I, it says, you know, you scan it and then it's like, please place the item in the packing area, you <laughs> you fool. And then I put it in and it's like, Can, can we, can we get on. a petition going for you to voice all of the... All of the, the, the self checkout <laughs> machines. It's like it's, if self checkouts could speak <laughs> their mind, because they can speak as if they could speak their mind. <laughs> oh, it's like putting things on it. It's like, uh, are you incompetent? You not put anything on it in the bagging area. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh it's, it is awful <laughs> it's bad, it is man. so annoying it's 2022 guys yeah. like what's going on here please yeah, what's, what's happening man fix up fix up <laughs> <laughs> oh i do i think i remember saying like a few years ago that um poundland oh, yeah. had um redone their self-checkout voices on halloween Oh yeah, I think it's pirates. Say this, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. It was, it was Halloween 2017. I don't know, I don't, I don't know if I, uh, if I'm like understanding the connection between Halloween and pirates. Uh, no, neither. Um, right. Okay. So we were on the same page there, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no I, I, I was a bit like weirded out as well. I, I would have thought like ghosts. Yeah. yeah it's like, it's like ooh, ooh, put your <laughs> item in the banking area. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I don't exist, and neither does anything in the bagging area. Ooh. I love the idea of like have so many custom voice lines. <laughs> yeah, it's just really snarky, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it was. It was like, oh, we already. Are you checking out? Put your card in the car machine, you idiot! <laughs> and I was like, oh. I was like, okay, I will. <laughs> oh yeah, it's uh, it's fun what people. Well, this is interesting what fun people can have with these uh, self checkout machines, man. Um, yeah. Even though I, they are most of the time just completely and utterly insufferable. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's a fun time. But the downside, time. but Nick, you know, where the problem in? Mm, because yeah, you and I, true. we walk to our supermarket, we do our shop, and then every single time that we go to the supermarket, we have the option of walking up to a human. Mm. And every single time, without fail, we walk to the infuriating robots mm, that <laughs> to is avoid true. human that is contact. True. <laughs> to be fair, more recently, 
um, since I do larger food shops now, mm. I do go do the to iron the person. Iron? How much iron do you need and what for? Uh, oh, the iron. I actually don't need the iron anymore. You just you uh, just wanted to waste our power, is what you wanted uh, to yes, do. Yes, I did. It was you, for a chisel, you saw, by the way. You saw that the redstone furnace and the pulverizer were full on power, and you thought, I and need I, to fix this. And I this. saw them, and I thought, oh, that's not a problem anymore. And I and I did use them. Right. Uh, apologies. Mm. But I don't need it anymore, so okay. uh, uh, have, go for it. I have 19 iron ingots for future reference. I'll put them in the chest. Oh, nice. Thank you. Thank you. I just needed... I actually only needed one, uh, but we've got them now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Uh Jeez. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Stone bricks. Uh, there we go. That's what I want. I, I'm surprised, honestly, at how bad self-checkouts still are. Yeah, because I remember when they first became a thing, mm -hmm. and they were bad. And yeah. I was like, Which God, you expect, this is terrible. Right? Yeah. And then, I don't know when it was, but they did become better. Yeah. But since becoming better the first time they've not actually improved any more since then yeah is what i've found like yeah. it's like they improved it to stop them from being completely unusable but now they are just mostly insufferable yeah mostly um, bad. yeah exactly which surprises me because you'd think that supermarkets in an ever continuing push to you know maximize profits would be trying to like make it so that there's only self-checkouts mm -hmm. right and so I would have thought they'd have been investing like heavily into like, you know, you, you hear about like, you know, these Amazon stores where there, there isn't even a checkout, right? You yeah, just leave. you just leave. Yeah. Like, I'm surprised that, that, that stuff like that hasn't taken off more, you know? Yeah, I think it's like, I think they must just be really worried that people will steal stuff. But I don't know how that works. Like, honestly, yeah. I have no idea how it works. Um, and also, you... maybe, oh, on, yeah. maybe that's also bad. Like, maybe it's really annoying to use. Just how yeah. like self checkouts used to be. I, I don't. I've never actually been to one of those, um, one of those stores, so I can't say. But maybe that's why it's not completely taken off. Or also maybe like it's Amazon's tech. Yeah, but like I feel like sense. I feel like there must be. It might be Amazon's tech, but it feels like the kind of thing where some rogue company would just come out of the woodwork, develop it, and then sell it to the supermarkets. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? That, anyway, no, that should be the case. Have you, um, have you ever used the little, like some supermarkets, you walk in and you can pick up a scanner and you scan your items as you walk around the supermarket? Yeah, I've seen this in Sainsbury's actually. Mm. The one that I used this? to go to quite often, but I never used it. I've also never used well, it. Mm. Well, the thing is, I, I went to use it the other day. I went to, I was in a Sainsbury's. I walked mm -hmm. up, picked it up. Uh, and I, I, you know, like clicked the button and it was like, scan your nectar card. And I was like, I don't have a nectar card. And it was like, put me back. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> fine. And I guess like, jeez, oh, I, I won't use dear. it. Like, yeah. It's like you, you're forced to, to use a loyalty card. <laughs> yeah. But, what the hell? And I was like, all right, fine. Oh, I've not used a nectar card in years, man. I, I've never had a nectar card. And I'm just like, I go to so many places and they're like, do you have a nectar card? And I'm like, no, I don't have a... It's the roguest places, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I used to have a nectar card because we... I, when I was living in a student house, we used to do an online shop together. Yeah. And so we would just rack up points. Yeah. But here's the thing. Like, the, the returns were just terrible. Yeah. Like, I think we spent a grand and it was like, you've earned 10 pounds off your next shop. And I'm like, thanks, <laughs> Sainsbury's. Yeah. And then the next food shop we do, like, that just gets lost in that, that 10 pound saving gets lost in the abyss, right? Because yeah. there's people sharing the, um, like, sharing the shop and, like, it's like, so everyone saved, like, one pound 50 each on their shop. And I'm like, this was not worth it. Yeah. At all. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I've I've not come across a good loyalty card apart from Tesco's club cards, but I feel like Tesco is like Tesco club cards are like a a cult, right? <laughs> I'm telling you, Tesco. I refuse to get one because I don't want to join the cult. <laughs> Isaac, it's dangerous. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, but you go to Tesco and it's like this toothpaste is sixteen pounds, oh, yeah, but if is. you've got a club card, it's two. <laughs> yeah. Like, well, thanks, Tesco. Yeah. Uh, and then you bad. get one, and then you're like, oh, and then that's how they get you, right? You mm -hmm. think, uh, oh, where shall I go on my supermarket shop? Oh, well, I've got a club card. I might as well mm -hmm. go to Tesco. And then they... That's the thing, though. But the thing is, it'll be like, you know, this toothpaste is 16 pounds. It's two if you got a club card. But then if you go to Asda, it's also, it's like 199. Yeah. It's the same price. It's like, exactly. It... What? Exactly. <laughs> it's, uh, it is, yeah, yeah it's something, no. man. It's, um, uh, yeah. The whole loyalty I think, system I think, is, I think is cult wild. is correct. <laughs> yeah, kids are cult. I'm telling you, I refuse to join, Isaac. I refuse to join the cult. <laughs> oh, man.
All right. We're, we're bricking up here, Isaac. We're getting these bricks. How's it going with you in this uh, fine game of modded Minecraft, which I forget we're playing? It's uh, it's getting there, man. I'm currently working on Invar. I have 27. I need to make 36 Invar to get this blast brick off the ground. Right. Um, I have nickel. Nickel is being made. We can nice. make Invar now, which is which is good. You know, progress is being made on that on that front. Oh, uh, good so, yeah, stuff. Things, things are things are. Things are chugging, man. Sweet, sweet. Thank you for putting this uh, miner down, back down on the on the stone. Yeah, I figured you'd need it, man. Yeah, is 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 very much required. It's a bit, it's a bit slow, but once the power comes in, hopefully we can hook all of these bad boys up to some kind of power network. I, or I don't think they get faster with power. Oh yeah, we tested this, haven't we? I think they just need yeah. higher tier miners. Like, yeah. So I mean, I can make the if the stone is a high priority for you, Nick. Like, if you need the tremendous quantities of stone, we can move the tier two miner that we have. Ooh, Like, I've yeah. got enough nickel, I think, now, to where we can move this over you, to stone. Yes, please. That would be very Full much time. appreciated. Because I'm need, I'm going to need stacks of the stuff, man, if right. we're stoning up. Like, yeah. you can see some progress has been made over on this, uh, on the, in the trader area. We are now starting to become a little bit more cohesive. <laughs> um, <area. laughs> yeah. I am I am going to have to replace the block under the trader Isaac. You know what oh. that means. Yeah. Ooh. I think there's only one way to do that. I mean you could you could you could you could shimmy him. He's shimmyable. Uh um, so you I could shimmy know. him. I don't know if he should be though, Isaac. You, you could shimmy him to a safe block and then back to the new updated block. You don't have to you don't have to do this thing. I don't have to, have rug, to, be don't like have to rug pull? No, there's no need for the rug pulling. Oh, 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 I think I'm slipping, Isaac. Oh, I've slipped. Oh, I've slipped. I pulled the rug, Isaac, by accident. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, the humanity. We've had such a horrible accident. Isaac, come over here. The, oh, let me just, sorry, let me put this pickaxe away. Oh, no, Isaac. Look over here. We've We've lost the trader. He had the rug pulled. I wonder who could have done that. I don't have anything on me that could have done such a thing. I was just trying to resurface the road, Isaac. I was just trying to resurface the road. Oh, the humanity. Oh, the humanity. Oh, I'm going to have to tell his family. Oh, I'm so sorry. But for the next one that, that arrives, there's, a, there, there's at least there's a block for them to stand on that's not, you know, absolutely horrible. Um... Oh, well, he must have just gone on holiday. <laughs> what what would happen, man, if we removed that block from under him and you put this down, like where it is? Would he just? I think he just fall right through. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that. I would think be... he'd just be gone forever. You know, <laughs> just an, maybe like, I, I want to imagine he's stuck in an infinite loop. I <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just hear that every minute. <laughs> 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 There's another one goes in this like horrible, just killing chamber. Um, gym, but... but yeah oh this tier two minor is is actually like faster yeah this is good. yeah yeah, yeah. yeah this is good. it's not as astronomical but it's 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 it is definitely faster yeah um you're welcome, man. You're welcome. thanks man yeah no much appreciated okay. much appreciated all right uh I think I need some nickel i think i need nine nickel in total so i'll do five more there uh yeah so blast brick is on its way then we need that's gonna get us the steel required to make the metal press so it's it's a, it's a slow process nick but it's a it's a process that's being processed which okay is, which that's is good. good to know man that's good to know uh once, once we get power like mm. i think things are going to really take off because the, the only thing currently holding us back really is the tree absorber right? right as soon as we get that wood is automated and then we can automate treated wood very easily uh, and then we can get like we can get the the techium ingots automated like much quicker, just, yeah. Not even just quicker, like just fully. Right, like right now they're not automated. Once we have the uh, the wood, it will be automated. Right, like right. Be, we'll just come from, back next yeah. time, and um, have like some. it will just be we'll just have stacks, Isaac. Hopefully of the of the good stuff, um, and then we can upgrade everything. Well, the miners, namely, we can upgrade the miners, and then like the speed of everything just goes up i assume and we can progress yes should be very nice very very nice because uh yeah it's uh it's we're chugging isaac i believe is the is the term like we're we're, we're, we're making progress but we are chugging along rather than speeding like a bullet train uh which is where the power will be useful um yeah, yeah man yeah just like that analogy I loved it, man. That's yeah, good, man. I loved That's it. Good. Do, do you That's wish good. that trains were faster? 
Uh, yeah, I do actually. Although trains do go quite quick because I uh, I speed tested one. Um... <laughs> 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 okay, go on, explain. <laughs> I uh, I was on a train. It was a fast train from Birmingham to London. It was a few years ago now. And mm-hmm. I was I was just thinking as I was on this train, I was like, this train is going quick. I was like, everything is flying past my face quickly. So I was like, all right, let me open up Google Maps and just see how fast I'm going. And the first thing it told me was like, you should not be driving <laughs> while, <laughs> while you're on your phone. And I was like, I'm not, guys. Come on. And my, 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 I've got an iPhone now and it does it all the time, right? I'll be on a train and it will go into driving mode. Oh, really? And yeah. And I'll, because it's like automatic. And I'll have to say, I'm not driving. And it's like, you shouldn't be driving and be mine, on your see, phone. Mine doesn't, mine doesn't say that. That's interesting. Yeah. I think maybe yours might be set to activate driving mode when it like connects to your car's bluetooth well, that's, that's the thing but like i do that like it also connects to my car's bluetooth as i get in the car mm. but then it doesn't like I, you know i don't pick my phone up while i'm driving but somebody else might pick my phone up while i'm dri- while they're driving it doesn't have like the little notification oh it doesn't no, you no. don't have to say oh i have to say that no, i'm no. not driving like i'll try and unlock my phone <laughs> and at the bottom it's like you shouldn't be driving and Why i is it to, your, like, what, what, what like just just when you're not locking your phone in general uh no as in like if i'm let's say i'm on a train right yeah. or mm-hmm. if i'm and i want to unlock my phone so yes. it will put that so it'll put, it will have put but the like car it's just into... it's just using the speed that you're going at as the reference point? yeah like it's using the that speed is so bizarre yeah yeah so there's like a, i should just turn it off and just change it to when it's using carplay or something or whatever but yeah like it uses the that's, that's the thing mine never says that that's so weird. I've never seen like the you shouldn't be, be doing this thing, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like a little note thing that pops up at the bottom, and you have to you have to tap a, a message that says I'm not driving, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I promise. <laughs> oh. No, I can't. I can't say I've, I've experienced this. Oh, interesting. Um, but yeah. Anyway, so so open up Google Maps. Yep. 121 miles an hour. I was wow. going at, and I was like, wow, this train is actually quite quick. Uh, but then HS2, uh, the HS2 link, which is a very high speed train that's coming sometime in the far future, yeah, supposedly. Maybe, ever. Maybe, yeah. yeah <laughs> is uh, is going to be like close to 200, and yeah. I'm here for it, man. Like, would oh, you man. Would you like it to be like painfully fast? Like, uh, like, like, not even just fast, but just accelerate fast when it starts, <laughs> like pinned in the back of my seat. <laughs> like it goes from zero to two hundred in like three seconds, three seconds but, then, yeah. but then slows down to like sixty to complete the rest of the journey. Yeah, yeah. Or, or it's 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 top speed is like it's like one of the slow trains, right? That goes at like forty miles an hour, but it just rockets you to 40 <laughs> and then just stops accelerating bang on 40 causing the change of acceleration to lurch you forward in your seat <laughs> it's like zero to 40 in like 0.3 seconds it's just like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah man I, I i'd be up for that it would make me yeah. very sick it yeah. would make me feel very sick but mm. you know i'd be open to trying it yeah um <laughs> there was this train that they trialed in the uk like a century ago it was like absolutely ages ago it was in the 19 like i don't know 40s or 50s or something um and it was meant to be like really quick yeah um but they'd count they'd made some I, I just didn't think they'd really done any user testing yeah um and in order for this train to be as fast as it was um on turns the <laughs> train track like started angling yeah so that, um, you know, when the train turns, you wouldn't be like lurched to one side of your seat. You'd kind of be pressed into the ground instead. Yeah. Um, and it just made everyone really sick, mm. like on this train. So they spent absolutely tons of money on it. And it just made everyone just feel horribly motion sick. And they had to like can the whole thing. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's kind of what I'm asking, right? Like, how much discomfort would you put? See, I think the problem is mm. that the answer to the question I'm about to ask is, is zero. I was mm. going to say, how much discomfort are you going to put up with for decreased journey time, right? Right. And I think the answer is none. None. Right? People yeah. want ultimate. People want ultimate comfort when it comes to to public transport. And yes. by ultimate comfort, I mean, I mean they don't want to. They be don't want to feel sick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they don't want to be in pain. <laughs> <laughs> like obviously, you know, the the UK trains are not like you know plush leather seats with you know reclining you know no, s- no. service and you know it's you know. 
It's Unless you're on first class. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. But, which uh, I often am not. Yeah. Um, in fact, I am always not. Um, mm. But yeah. And then there's there's also tiers of trains in the UK. Like you've got the really nice, like, com- the ones with like proper seats. And they've got like the little screens that tell you if seats are reserved. And, um, you know, they go quite quickly. They're quite quiet. They're very smooth. And then on the complete other end, you've got like the the ones that like smell really bad, that are like the more local ones, right? And they're like really noisy and slow, and they've got like weird bench seating, and they're just really tatty, and they you can hear the gear changes, and like, and then there's some that are like weirdly in the middle, like they're 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 slightly better than the normal local ones, but they're not like the super fast like long distance ones. I don't know, man. I've been on a, I've been on loads of trains over the last few years of my life. Um, so maybe I'm just using my own like experience. Maybe no, other people don't feel this. Did you go on trains much? No, I've been on very few trains in my life. Yeah, uh, that's fair enough. Yeah, yeah, that's probably why. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to relate. Yeah, I'm um, not. I'm not a train man. Yeah, um, yeah. I I wish I wasn't. Um, yeah, but the trains they're okay. Yeah, they're okay. So I what, wish. Oh, yeah, no. I, I oh, mean, yeah, yeah. I, I don't. I've not used many trains. Yeah, yeah. No, fair They're expensive, enough, man. man, here in the UK. They are, They're not cheap yeah. trains, right? Yeah, no, they are quite expensive. And um, It's like, if, for the price of, like, like if I, if I want to get like, the train to London, it's probably cheaper, even if it's like, takes longer for me to just drive down and pay for a hotel. Like, mm-hmm. it's ludicrous. Yeah, I've experienced that before as well. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, I don't understand. Yeah, if I'm ever going to London for work, yeah. um, it is cheaper for me to go the night before and stay mm-hmm. in a hotel. Yeah. As opposed to going at on the uh, peak time in the morning yeah. to get there on time. And I'm like, well, better for me. I don't have yeah, to wake up at 5 a.m. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I, I'm like, yeah, I'm here for it. And I get to stay in a hotel for a night, which is <laughs> always a novel experience. Um, <laughs> I'm just there with my, my suitcase and my sunglasses in the middle of winter. And I'm like, I'm on holiday, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah no trains are very expensive and the problem is they're not actually well i don't know their, their reliability is very questionable i've had some yeah i've been stranded many times mm-hmm. and i've had to pay like on the spot for very expensive route around trains mm-hmm. just in order to get home yeah. right and then reckon, i tried to find them they, you reckon that's how they, they decide like they're looking at their like books of the day, like ah, we don't have enough profit, so let's quickly cancel this train. Yeah, the, the, it's just it's waiting around the corner. It's parked up, ready to pull in. But they're like ah, no, if <laughs> no, we cancel yeah. it, we'll make this much by all, for all the yeah, tickets that we've got yeah, to purchase. Yeah. And I do feel like that sometimes, <laughs> man. Like uh, this is just the, can you imagine the driver peeking? Are they gone yet? Are they gone yet? <laughs> <laughs> can I sneak round? <laughs> oh yeah, I do feel like that sometimes. Yeah, trains are very ex- trains in the UK are expensive. They're becoming more expensive, and they're uh, for what you get, get charged, they're not as reliable as they should be, given yeah. the price that they cost. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, it is what it is. But to be fair, it's better than the US. Like Our train system is far better than the US, mm-hmm. so I'll take that. But it's a, it's a factor of us just being such a small country, yes. so densely populated. Yeah. Um, it's true. Yeah, it's a good time, man. It's a good time. Hello. Little furnace war here. Yeah, the I was getting fed up, man. We got we got infinite coal and not infinite power, so I was getting fed up of using the redstone furnace. Right, right. well, the big boy as well. The um, big boy's been been scrapped temporarily. Yeah, like, I don't think he's a, he feels like just one big furnace, right? Like he doesn't go any faster than one furnace. He can just hold a lot. Right? Like he can like bulk craft. Like like not, he can't even bulk craft. Like basically, he's just like one furnace that you can like preemptively craft in. If that makes exactly. sense, like, you can no, you can yeah, queue yeah, yeah. up all of the stuff you want to do inside of him. Um, and then just wait. Do you have the hammer, by the way, to activate this blast first? Uh, I do. Let me get it out. Um, it is over here. Right, here you go, man. Thank you. There Beautiful. you are. Okay, finally. <laughs> I can oh. make the steel scaffolding that I need. Beautiful. I need? I Beautiful. Need... Oh, jeez. Three, well, six, nine, eight, 12 steel, man. He's been protected by the uh, the little tea up here with the, the lava of the water. <laughs> yeah, it's quite, it's quite sweet, man. <laughs> You're really looking out for him, stopping him from getting rained on, you know, getting a bit yeah, moldy. Yeah, exactly. No, I like exactly. it. I like it. Yeah. See, I was wondering, I initially was annoyed with myself because this um, con- contraption is not in the middle of this platform, right? Like, so there's, yes. there's there's five blocks spacing here, but there's not five blocks spacing here. So I might extend it, but then I'm like, I have to try and think about the, uh, like, eating into the, 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 the long zone here. But I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. We're almost done with um, 
with uh, material replacement, Isaac. And actually, since we do have infinite coal, what I'm happened to what happened to the Dark Oak man? I was promised Dark Oak, and I've been. I feel like Dark I've been Oak swindled. is coming, Isaac. Dark Oak is coming. TM. Uh, this uh, this this bit here, Dark Oak. In fact, I'm going to do that right now. Here I we thought go. we were getting more Dark Oak man. I thought the middle was going to be Dark Oak, like all yeah, of this. Yeah. No, you know what? I can put some Dark Oak in the middle. I, to I be honest, know, Isaac, I feel my like... primary goal at mm. that, this point was to just get rid of what was there and replace right. it with something, and then like, decide what to put in afterwards. I feel like it would have been faster. To not wait for stone and instead uh, use dark oak. Yeah. And just probably. use stone for the edge. Like, I like the edge of stone, but like the middle of stone, it's just, it's very gray. It is very, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, um, yeah. Uh, this can be changed. Don't you okay. worry. This will Thank this you. will be replaced. Beautiful. And the stone can be reused. So that's that's also fine. And also, like, here we go. I'm just going to get rid of this. How much dark oak do I have? Oh, I have 50. Let me make some more before I uh, start trying to replace everything. Uh, but no, don't worry, Isaac. Don't worry, you get your dark oak. Uh, let me find Oops. this. Um, okay. So I need one piston, one redstone engineering block, one heavy engineering block and a conveyor belt. Heavy Ooh. engineering. The heavy engineering block could be difficult. It needs electrum. I need electrum. Oh, no, I don't need electrum. Okay. I can, oh. I can circumvent. I can circumnavigate electrum. Okay. Good to hear. Good to hear. Never fear. I'm just going to put down a little area to just grow some dark oak trees. Here we go. Let's just do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Let's just do Beautiful. that. I love to uh, see that. Can we? Yeah, we can to work on this. Excellent. Um, do you have that hatchet? Or I, I just, do. Yeah. Like, you could also just like make a new yeah, one. Yeah, I was thinking of doing that. I'm, I might as well just, yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll break this one and then I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll make a new one afterwards. Here we well, go. It doesn't break it. You repair it, right? Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, don't worry about it. I'll make, I'll make a new one. Well, uh, for now, for now, I'll just use this one. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Why do something? Like, again, this is, this is, this is another example, Nick, of, of short-term pain for long-term game. We've chosen short-term pleasure for long-term pain. Yeah, exactly, Isaac. I mean, I, we did spout about it last time, but I'm yeah. here for the insta hits of dopamine, man. Exactly. Not man. here for that long term garbage. No, I'm <laughs> with you, man. I'm with you. It's all about uh, the, the, I'm here for a, the here for a good time, not a long time. Good <laughs> 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 point with all that dark oak, man. Just you. Oh, oh yeah, just you wait. Oh yeah. This oh, is another that's a lot of dark oak. Welcome to another episode of uh, what does it say on Nick's Tinder profile? Here for a good time, <laughs> not a long time. Have you I do you see do, that do quite keep, often, actually. Do you, do, 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 do you keep taking this cobblestone, like, out of the floor? Uh, over here? Yes, yes. Why? Because I was planning to vein mine this, right? Why? I was planning to... Why? To, to, I was, hold on, hold Explain on. Explain yourself. I was planning to vein mine this. Right. And I did not want to vein mine the cobblestone mining uh, section. <laughs> right. That is that is why. It's <laughs> like three times now I've wandered over here, refilled in this hole. No, no, no. Don't ego. Come back and it's no, gone. No, no. Oh, my <laughs> God. I mean, if this goes, if this cobblestone disappears, Isaac, it's on you. All right? <laughs> oh, man. But that is, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's to, it's to, it's for, it's, in fact, I have, I do actually have to do that as soon as you're finished <laughs> with this section. <laughs> right. So get ready. Jeez. Because I've okay. got the, uh, I've got it. I've got it ready to go. We're going to get Dark Oak. Okay. But no, you think there are a lot of people on Tinder there for a good time, not a long time? Yeah, I see it quite often, man. Yeah. Um, and I'm like, oh, damn. <laughs> I, I'm here for a long time, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so it has to be a left swipe from me. <laughs> I'm not here for a good time. Swipes, <laughs> swipes <laughs> yeah, exactly. Don't get it twisted. I'm not here for a good time. I'm here for a long time. <laughs> Thinking about those long-term investments. <laughs> swipe left. <laughs> or maybe even swipe right and tell them. Uh, uh, yeah. Swipe right and tell them. What are you telling them, Like, <laughs> <laughs> You should be here. You should be here for a long time, though. Why not? <laughs> Uh, confused emoji. Something like that, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yes. these... Yeah. Yeah, all these Tinker's tools are nice. Yeah, I'll give you that. These tinkers I do tools like the uh, the reoccurring segment of... Um, did you... Is this... No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on oh, hold on, yeah? Hold on, hold on. Um, I think that there are other nice... I've, I've been I've been doing a little bit of... Uh, have you been researching? Research, yeah. Uh, what for, would you for, what what tickles you, Isaac? On well, this, you told me the menu. chisel, Nick. Here you go. So I've been look. doing I've been doing some some K factory market research uh, into into dark oak chisel. Oh, I yeah. quite like you've you've taken the chisel back by the way. Oh, there you go. Thank you. So 
I quite like the um the encased planks. I think those mm-hmm. look pretty good. Uh, there's also the encased smooth. Right. Okay. okay. So here we go. I'll show you. I'll, I'll give you a sampling. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Let's have a sample. A smattering of of samplings. Here you go. Let me do with the three of these. So this one, mm-hmm. I quite like. Okay. Yeah. That. Yeah. That connects as well. It's yeah. Nice, okay. Yeah. Interesting. There's also this one, which is interesting. Like, uh, okay. Look at that. It's just All like right. it's smooth. Yeah. Okay. No. Yeah. No. I see. I, I mean, see. I like yeah. these. I like the connective okay. nature of them. Um, what do you think to the smooth one? Um, so what I'm thinking is, for example, on this path, this outside layer would be made of this encased one, mm-hmm. and then inside would be a line of the smooth, smooth. stuff. All right. Nick, yeah. 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 I can. Uh, oh, don't take my pickaxe. Don't oh, take it. Sorry, don't take your, it. That's yours. You've, I said don't take it. He walked sorry. forward to pick it up. Like he, he goes. <laughs> you said don't. I'd already walked forward. Thank you, man. <laughs> anyway, there you go. I, I, I sign you. off on the um on, All right. the, on the on the thing there. Alright, good stuff. Good stuff. Alright, let's get rid of uh, this as well. Let's collect it. Beautiful. And then no, I, I like um I like, you know, the the reoccurring what's on Nick's Tinder profile uh segment, Nick. So it's a good it adds continuity to the to Keeping the series. Keeping you updated, man. Yeah, Keeping yeah, yeah, you yeah, updated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I, yeah I love the yeah, updates, yeah. man. How's it going? You going well? Yeah, no, so uh, still uh, still single. Um... <laughs> so it's going well. It's going well. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, I'm 38 months into Tinder Platinum. <laughs> Tinder Platinum, man. <laughs> I always see that. Like, do you want this? Is, this is gonna be. Do you want Tinder Adamantium? <laughs> it's like it's even better than before. You got Tinder Platinum. That's crap. Why are you paying for that? <laughs> yeah, why are you? Why are you paying six hundred pound a year for Tinder Platinum when you yeah, could pay like three thousand a year? Yeah, for Tinder Adamantium. Like that will really that will that will get you into a relationship, <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Tinder Adamantium will Photoshop your photos for you to make you look better. <laughs> yeah. You want to want catfish people? Ah, oh, we'll take care of it for you. Tinder Adamantium. We get your own Tinder account manager that does your swiping. We'll, we'll, learn, we'll learn the tricks. You know? Does your swiping. <laughs> oh, man. That is always funny when I see that. It's yeah. like, okay, you've got Tinder and you've got Tinder Plus. But no, mm-hmm. you don't need to pay for that. That's crap. Get Tinder Gold. So I'm like, oh no, you don't have to pay for that. That's garbage. Tinder Platinum. <laughs> <laughs> your 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 app looks black. <laughs> you get dark mode. <laughs> <laughs> like, That's not a thing, right? They don't charge for dark mode, right? <laughs> no, I thing. don't think so. But the 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 low the like little icons go black. Right, I'm pretty okay. sure. <laughs> Uh, from well, that's what the screenshots uh, tell me anyway. Believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Fair I do enough, think all oh, that those icons do look much nicer than uh, than you the regular. You contemplating ones. it? Are you contemplating Tinder Platinum just for just the for icons? the icons? Yeah, just for the icons, man. Wow. Not for any of the other garbage. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't care about that, don't you like the matches or anything? No, 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 no. I don't go on Tinder for matches, Isaac. <laughs> I go on <laughs> it specifically for the way it looks. Um. Not even like the way the app looks, like the way the icon looks on your home screen. Right? Exactly. Yeah. Oh yeah. I wonder if you. I wonder if the icon changes. Oh, I thought that's what you were referring to. Oh no, I just mean like within the app. Like right. all, there's all sorts of little bits that that go dark, like they look black. Right. Um, oh, I see. Yeah, but if the icon changes, man, then I'd actually be um, less inclined to get it because then really? it looks like because then people see that you're paying for it, like when they see it on your phone. Right. And you don't want people to know that you're paying for it. No, I can't admit that. Right. Jeez. Okay. Like, that's... Um, mm. God, that's uncharted waters, man. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I, okay. I have to be careful with that. Like, you know, don't don't, don't suggest anything crazy, Isaac. Can't be... Uh, people can't be knowing I pay for Tinder. Uh, sorry, <laughs> supposing supposing I paid for Tinder. People can't be knowing that I pay, pay for Tinder. <laughs> oh, oh jeez. Mobile dating is a, it's a cash cow, man. Oh, it like, is, they make isn't it? so much money. It's they charge you for all kinds of tiny things. It's like, hi, you've used us for one minute. Do you want to use us any longer? It's like, <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you want to swipe any more? Oh, that's like 50 quid. But you get, yeah. you get swiped for a day. It's like 50 pounds. One day. <laughs> Pretty good deal to me. No? <laughs> I'm like, damn. Yeah. The thing is, right? Must be working. 
Right? Oh, yeah, I think I think I think Tinder made like six billion dollars last year oh, or something my. fucking insane. Jesus <laughs> Christ! Yeah, it's six mad. Six billion dollars. It's actually mad. Let's have a look. I might be talking Jeez. about it. Tinder. Zeus. Revenue. Holy last year. moly, Isaac! That's a lot of money. Let's have a look. It's a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, oh. Mm. oh, maybe not. I see 1.15 billion for 2019, but you know that's pre-pandemic, man. Yeah, that's true. That's true. People weren't so, bored you know. enough then, Isaac. Yeah, and now they are. You um, know, everyone's had uh, everyone's had you know uh, too much time at home, man, and they've been they've been swiping. Yeah, yeah. And then there you go. So yeah, yeah, probably probably quite close to that. So yeah, going, going well at the moment. Going going well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. Next update on Thursday. Um, I'll let you guys know how it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Until then. You think there's going to uh, be big, big moves between now and Thursday? I mean, there could be, man. Maybe this is going to be my inspiration, right? Oh, yeah. Like this conversation. Um, how many How many hours per week do you spend swiping? If you don't ooh. mind me asking you to divulge certain private information. Uh, maybe one. Okay. So hour? you're averaging like... Not many, like just a few minutes a day. Yeah, you know, like, like I, maybe I, eleven or like not. Yeah, know, like, like eight that's minutes actually a day. fairly close. Like I do look at my screen time, and it's usually like not more than twelve minutes because right. I go on it, and then I get bored, mm. and then I'm like, that okay, doesn't. That's, so that's I'm, I'm going to infer <laughs> from the eight minutes a day that you're not having many conversations. Oh no, that. I can't be bothered with that. <laughs> this, this is why it's not going well for us because I most of the time can't be asked to actually like make an effort with it right which right, is right. what which is what I should be doing if mm. I wanted the result out of it so yeah. I'm fully aware of the right. like I'm not like this doesn't work <laughs> Open, it must be it must be them <laughs> opens app swipes for eight minutes closes app doesn't open doesn't again. Work. <laughs> 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 Leave an Apple App Store review. <laughs> no, no, no. It's uh, it's not quite like that. Um, however, it's 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 close. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh man. How many of these do I need? Do I need more than one? No. Okay. This is fine. <laughs> okay. Good stuff. This heavy engineering block, man. It's expensive. Oh um, yeah, you do need one of those, don't you? Yeah. We I'm, have redstone, um... which is no, we don't. Uh, well, I think I could purchase it. I can. Oh, okay. Cool. For the cost cool. of one basic techie mingo, which we have now, Nick. Yes, yes, which so is I'm very good. good. Very okay. good. I will uh, also sleep. Okay, let's do it with go. this. I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to visualize now, Isaac, the, oh, that's the wrong block. I'm trying to visualize how the whole base will, needs to look cohesively with um, Dark Oak mm. involved. So how, do, oh, how does the Dark Oak now go into the main area and, like, yeah. how does it all look? What's the pattern? I think, so, I think, we just kind of, I keep, I think we keep the idea. Yes. Afloat. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just, uh, you're going to do a, a, a trim of encased plank around the edge and then the middle is going to be like all smooth. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I th I'm thinking along the same lines with these I then understand. two, two stone, uh, types hugging Beautiful. the outside. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Uh, someone so in the Twitch chat asks if you have ever, they ask if you ever found a relative on Tinder. Have you ever, been, have you ever seen anyone you know? I must assume you must have done. Uh, friends. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then we'd like joke. Friends, match, colleagues. Right. Yeah. 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 And then I'd be like, yeah, lol. It's, it's a joke. Nice it's a, the, the other person's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> lol. They, they see you. They swipe you right. It, it matches. They're like, oh, the eyes light up. They open the message. And then there's you and Nick being like, haha, lol. Look at that. <laughs> 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 Good joke match. <laughs> 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 Long oh. fancy seeing you here. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm back. laughs> oh. oh no! I think, that, I think if, if that's going to be anyone, it will be me. <laughs> it will be me <laughs> on the other side of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh. oh that is good i told you good. nick you know i know we matched but like it's not it's not, it's not it was a joke okay i'm like oh guys come on <laughs> oh. <laughs> delete redownload <laughs> match again <laughs> what about this time <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah but outside of like friends yeah. uh and like just people that i used to know as well like yeah. from school mm -hmm. that like appear i'm like oh Look at them. They're still single. And then I like, when well, I like, carry about my day. Uh, I've also seen still people's single. like siblings on there. Oh, yeah. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, hold on a second. And I'm like, mm, do I swipe right? 
but I don't. I'm a good boy. Good I boy. Uh, okay. I'm a good boy. Um, Nick has a no sibling rule. Yeah, I have a no sibling rule. I stick by it. You, uh, you but yeah, date, the answer you, is yes. You only swipe right on people who are only childs, right? That's, exactly. If they I, have exactly. any siblings at all, it's a no. No, they're out. <laughs> yeah, it's like a weird, weird requirement <laughs> from, from myself. First, that's Nick's opening line. Do you have any siblings? If they answer yes, that's just an instant unmatch. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They won't even. They won't even get closure. It was just, just completely. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's it. That's the end. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> do you have siblings yes unmatched <laughs> oh, yeah. they'll, they'll write back like a long paragraph like yeah i've got i got three siblings two older brothers and a younger sister and then it's just unmatched just not yeah. <laughs> just cold heartless yeah i mean gone. sometimes it has to be done man sometimes yeah. it does have to be done um wow. yeah yeah what about you you see any you see any peeps you know on there uh yeah you see i've seen people you know from like uh like i've, I've seen people i knew from like high school who yeah still live in the area yeah, that yeah. I've not spoken to in like, you know, many, many, many years. Exactly. And I'm like, oh, fancy seeing you there. And I'm like, and it's sometimes like if it's like been a really long time, I'm like, oh, I'm like, uh, oh, like, whoa, like you you look different. Or like it's it's weird because they re- like they resemble how I remember them looking, but they don't quite, you know, they've changed. Right. Yeah. There's, there's always very interesting um but yeah then what one thing i'll tell you one thing that i always find funny uh is like if you uh, it's like if you don't like cats then <laughs> then <laughs> then i don't like you <laughs> yeah or it's like uh if you don't have a dog then yeah. you are a dog <laughs> and i'm mm-hmm. like yeah and i'm like oh some people are obsessed with pets man people a lot of people are one that I, i've seen uh a fair bit is like you know if my dog doesn't like you it's not gonna work and i'm like yeah that's a lot of pressure man yeah or even like sometimes it would be like if my if you don't get on with my mum i'm <laughs> <laughs> it was like, if you don't get on with my mum then it's and then i then i will kill you <laughs> <Something> <laughs> <like that. laughs> Oh, uh, like, whoa, well, I mean, why am I meant to know? You see that in a profile. Swipe right. Yep. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, easy. All That's right. Like, oh, let's, <laughs> challenge accepted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Challenge accepted. God, oh. yeah, the world of online dating is just absolutely just uh, com- complete shambles of just yeah. craziness. I there's love a, it. There's some... There's some... There's some bizarre profiles out there. There are, there are, there are, man. <laughs> there say are. that again. There are. Oh yeah. man. You uh, you ever met anyone's dog? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Uh, no, no, I say. <laughs> Don't think I have. I mean, uh, in like an online dating context, I'm assuming you've not met. No, anyone's no, dog. I've not met anyone's dog. Uh, yet, yeah, uh, Isaac. Yeah, okay. no one's keep no us, one's keep, us in, keep us up to date, man. You know, I will do. Uh, I will do. If any, I, I have on the, on the flip side. I have met someone's dog. Like I have met people's dogs. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but just not through not through just the not through app, just not through a dating app. But the right. one day, man, one day, one day, exactly. Yeah. Uh, okay, here we go. I'm 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 going <laughs> again. I'm going outside in with this whole shebang, Isaac, with this dark oak uh so we're gonna do this yeah here we go this this looks this looks good this looks like the ticket oh man okay okay Uh, i am very 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 ooh, very ooh, very hammer please uh here you go very 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 very, 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 very. Oh, hello, oh Isaac, what the Isaac? Very. Got an eighteen plus warning on it or something, man. Very, oh, very, geez. very, 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 um, very, very. Very. I'm gonna have a sip of my drink. Um, <laughs> very, 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 uh, very, Nick. I've done it. I've made it. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. 
Oh, it's annoying. <laughs> it's just so annoying that they have. You need to have things facing yeah. a certain way <laughs> to. Uh, no, it's, uh, it's it's pretty bad, man. Uh, we've got a freaking metal press, man. Nice. So we've iron cogs it. are, uh, or any cogs can be made now. Yes. Yes. Well, yes. yes maybe. Keep uh, work in progress. Okay. So now I need to. I still need to make an engineer's. No, no, I don't. Yeah, I do. I still need to make an engineer's workbench. Okay. Uh, and then I need to use a uh, engineer's blueprint. I need to make an engineer's blueprint. Put that in the workbench for molds. I need to mm -hmm. make a gear mold. I then need to put the freaking terrible generator that we have on top of this thing. Oh, give it God. power. Yeah. And then I can make gears. Um, alas, Nick, we're out of time for mm. the first episode of Techopolis today.